So you're working on a surface area calculation of a slightly irregular shaped object and you're still not entirely sure if you're doing the calculations by hand correctly. I think we've all been there. But in this video, we're going to take a look at how if you have some comfort with technical, um, sorry, with reading technical drawings and you have some comfort with CAD software such as Fusion 360, we're going to show you how you can go ahead and use the CAD software as kind of an answer key to see if you're approaching and, and getting the same conclusions uh, from your hand calculations. So in this problem, we're pulling up a uh, problem that I have some other videos on how to take care of the, the hand calculations, um, or again, using a bit of a calculator. But using the technical drawing, from our base to roof peak measurement, the base and the width of the barn, to um, even the depth of it. We can quickly model this in Fusion 360 and then have it tell us what are these calculations supposed to be. So, firing up Fusion 360, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to change my unit over to meters um, because that's where the technical drawing had most of its information. Okay? The second part, again, drawing some basic shapes. Um, in this case, we know that the width is supposed to be 11.9 meters. Okay. The height of it, the rectangular portion is 6.1 meters. We can resume on that. Okay. And then we know that there's a diagonal roof. I'm just going to quickly draw the rough shape. Use an equal constraint to square that up since we can interpret that from the drawing and then D to go ahead and grab the dimension tool grabbing the peak and the base and entering the total height of 12.7 meters okay. I believe we've got that right and then finish the sketch run it in extrusion so go back to the home view extrusion selecting both of the shapes now Here's where unit conversions start to matter because in the technical drawings, we see that we have 62 feet, not meters. So we can actually type in feet and it goes ahead and converts the value for us. Okay. Um, so what's left now is to check the surface area. So for the first part of the problem, we want to know what is the surface area of the gable end. Okay. Now while we have two of them, we can only select one. If we grab the inspection tool with the side selected, we can actually scroll down and see that they've already calculated our surface area of, in this case, 111.86 meters squared. Um, and for the roof, where we need to try and figure out what it is in square feet, we can actually go back, change our unit back to feet well, two feet actually. Go back to inspecting and it tells us what we need. Now keep in mind this is only measuring one side. Multiple parts of these problems are calling for two sides or multiple coatings of paint. Um, so you still need to kind of interpret this information but this is still going to serve as a answer key of sorts uh, when you're working on a problem and you're not entirely confident that you've done the calculations on your own correctly. So I hope this helps. Hope this gives you a bit of guidance. And um, as always, feel free to ask questions, leave comments, and um, I'm always willing to help you out where I can. So take care, and I'll see you next time.